Good afternoon. Uh, it is again time for uh, another episode or issue, if you will, of uh, stuff that God said and uh, wants us to keep on saying. I'm going to be reading uh, from the eighth chapter of Romans, the first verse. Hear the word of the Lord. There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. And when we read that, we go, we realize that uh, whenever we ask forgiveness, um, you know, it's forgiven. Whatever wrongdoing, whatever missing the mark of the righteousness that God would desire for us is erased from God's memory. That's what the Bible tells us. But the one thing that we do know is that the consequences of that wrongdoing or the consequences of a life that continues to miss the mark can be very, very, very harmful, not only to us, but for people around us. There is a, uh, a snake in Africa, Western Africa, called the black mamba. And it's considered to be the most poisonous snake in the whole world. That uh, one bite from that snake and you could be dead with uh, 10 to 20 minutes. And even a little bit of that venom uh, would, would cause great agony. So uh, the thing that, we, that, that, was re, that I, is remarkable to me is that you can kill the snake. You can cut off the snake's head. But the snake is still dangerous. Because I found out that uh, in the fangs, the venom remains. And, and, and if someone were to step on it with the bare foot or pick it up and prick their fingers with the, with the, with the fang, they could have enough poison uh, to be agonizing or maybe enough poison to kill. And so I like to see that us missing the mark. And our sin is kind of like that snake, you know, and it can destroy us if we don't do something with it. But even if we get rid of it, even if we kill that, Thing that misses the mark for us, it can still be dangerous if we want to play with it. Uh, too many times, uh, because we think we're forgiven, we can just continue go on doing the things uh, that really we know is not good for us. And that's playing with the head of the snake. And so let us think about how there is therefore now no condemnation for those in Christ Jesus. And as we have our sins forgiven, our wrongdoings erased, that we continue to grow in grace and grow in love, uh, that we won't continue to inflict ourselves or inflict anybody else with the consequences of our missing the mark of the righteousness uh, that God desires for us. May God bless us. Amen.